Hi there, I'm back and here's another another story. It's called The Book with No Pictures by BJ Novak. This is how it looks like. So that's the front of the book. This is a book with no pictures. No pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. That's very unusual, right? Because storybooks always have pictures in it. But we'll see. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. You ready to listen? Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say bark, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Or blurf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says, uh-oh. I am a monkey who thought myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a... Glug, 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 glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No, there are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Bat. Boo Boo Bot. So there are the big words Boo Boo Bot. <laughs> and also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the whole history of the entire world. Oh, really? Do you believe that? Yes, you are the best kid ever. And this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. No pictures. These are all, what do you see? These are all letters, right? And words, no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, Oh no, oh no, here it comes. Glibity, globity, glibity, glibity, beep, boop, face, a, ba. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It's so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end.
bonk. I didn't want to say that. So that's the book with no pictures. Did you like it? I know this is very unusual. Like I said, this is a very interesting book because there are no pictures in it. So these are just all words and yep, lots of letters. All right, did you like it? This is by BJ Novak. It's a book with no pictures. Maybe your mom can find this at the library or I don't know, maybe you have this book at home. And your mommy can read this to you as well. And she can probably make a really good sounds because there are words here that she can make sounds. And yeah, it would be so much fun. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the stories that I read for this week. And since we're talking about summertime, and like I said, this week is our last week of, uh, of the videos that we're sending you that you are watching at home. But you can still watch uh, the previous videos that we sent you. And I know that you're looking forward to summer. And I bet you have other plans and you're going to have lots and lots of activities to enjoy summer. So... And I will see you on Saturday for our last day of school, okay? So have fun today and uh, for this whole week. And again, I miss everybody, but I will see you Saturday. I can't wait. Okay, bye for now. See you.